Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Another road trip with Mom and Aaron. <laughs> this time in Penghu. We left home after work on a Friday and started our journey to an island we knew little about. Penghu, or Pescadores Islands, is an archipelago of 90 small islands and islets off the southwestern coast of Taiwan. It was another adventure we would begin in the dark. Taiwan at night is beautiful, but from the air, it's truly arresting to look at with all the colors and lights. If you've been lucky enough to take off at night here, you'll know what I mean. This video footage does an injustice to the experience. Well, we made it to Penghu. We just got off the plane. They just let us loose on the tarmac. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Letting us Canadians loose. It's a bad idea. So the place we're going is either a 20 minute drive or a nine and a half hour bus ride. So bus? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that guy knows where to go. <laughs> it's a domestic flight so there's no customs. There's nothing, you just get off the plane and leave. <laughs> Google. Google. Google, put it in Google Maps. Oh, oh, oh. Google, Google. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. How, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, how much? in Taiwan might kill my mother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. So what do you think? <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> oh, cool. There's like a little little chair, a, a beer can. It's nice. And you can't really see what's out there right now, but it looks like... Let me try to... There you go. There's some buildings and behind there is the water, I believe. That's pretty sweet. Nice. You can see the water? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. That's okay. Right. Well, kitchen to boil water. There is maybe a closet space you could call it. This is the dance studio. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, we got like a jacuzzi. Yeah, it's kind of like oh, you know cube what? sized. This, this looks like the the hot spring that we yeah, got that, that one time in Yeah, hot spring What is this that they gave us? What is this? Are these cock lids? What the hell are these? I think are they what? what? They're mugs, I think. No, wait, look at this. You put it down, and then you can pick up the no. glass. I swear. <gasps> Whoa! Really? Go Taiwan! So innovative. Peng where? Peng who? Pung what? Mm, that's not good. That's dumb. <laughs> that's, <dumb. laughs> that's good. Come on. In my B and B. Close these. I don't want someone yeah. staring at my sweet fanny. 7-Eleven is only a 12-minute walk away. So. We also think we found a bar that serves wine. So it's worth trying to find it again. It's right, right there. there. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So plan A failed. The place is closed. <laughs> I had a feeling. Really? So we're gonna walk to 7-Eleven. Good old 7-Eleven. I don't know if you can hear me, it's pretty windy. It's got that island of breeze going on. Yeah. It's nice. Before I forget to tell you, <laughs> flying over Taipei at nighttime is unbelievable. It's more beautiful than any city we've ever flown over overnight. That's very true, actually. It's all like purple and green and pink and like blue. It's just nuts. 
And it's really cool to see the mountain roads from above because they're so windy. Yeah. It's just like, oh, zigzagging all over the place. And you can see little mountain towns pop up. It's really neat. Yeah, it's nuts. And mm -hmm. like all the roads are lit up through the mountains. So you can see how they zigzag through. It's crazy. It made me feel very lucky to be traveling and living in Taiwan. Yeah, for, That's sure. for sure. Yeah, Taiwan just gets more cool. Yeah. The longer we're here. We're going to get killed. No, we're. Are you gonna survive? We might not make it to 7-Eleven. We're taking bets on whether my mom will drive a scooter tomorrow or not. I was assuming no. I think she will. I don't know. I was picturing like I drive a scooter, you drive one with your mom in the back. Um, I think she'll drive one. We'll see though. I think she'll try one and then we'll end up not, she will end up not driving it. Yeah. I think. I don't know. She'll love this. I don't know about that. I'm I getting one. Do it. Do it. Doing a durability test on 7 Eleven bags tonight. We got all our dinner in here, which is actually just like all alcohol. And some noodle cups. We're gonna die. There's so much. As soon as I want to talk to the camera, just everyone starts driving their cars in town. Face? Hey, puppy? <laughs> that is the softest dog ever. I know, he weighs nothing. He does, it's true. We've got our typical healthy, well balanced meal of wine, sake, beer, oh, oh yeah, and noodle cups. And chips, and See? chocolate. Yeah, I did both in Canada. You're the cutest dog it's, ever. Yeah. Good morning. Here's everything you need to know about this morning. I imagine everyone in Canada is just sitting on the edge of their seats for this one. I don't even know how I'm going to balance this thing. already. Joe Taiwan, <laughs> or I guess Peng Hu. The Vons are on scooters. Well, highway ready might be a little ambitious, but. <laughs> but I'm fucking hungry, I don't care. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> so it turns out mom's gonna go on the back of mine, so wish me luck. And Erin's gonna drive on her own, so wish her luck. And I'm it also means we're not gonna film during the duration of the scootering. <laughs> She gets nervous when she sits in the passenger seat of my car. So I can just imagine. <laughs> well, we made it. Yeah, I did it. 
My first Me solo scooter. Yeah. yeah, you did good. Yeah, it's right. Good. Yeah. It's yeah. We survived. We'll have to get footage of this later. Maybe I'll get the GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, breakfast time. We still haven't eaten. Never had anything but coffee, water, and cigarettes. So it's time to eat. Thing is kind of scary if I'm being honest. Like standing underneath it just makes the craziest sound. It's so big. Imagine one of those things fell off. Anyway, we're driving along the road, uh, like over a bridge. It was super windy, and then we just found this little trail thing that kind of I don't know what it does. It's just a trail that connects all of these windmills, and there's a good lot of them. I don't know if we can scooter on here or if it's only for biking. But there's like a picture of a dude on a bike. So, I'm assuming we can. There's nobody here anyway. This is the Great Bridge of Penghu. It's pretty cool. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it all the way to the big, glorious lighthouse. And there it is, the tiny little thing. Not that giant structure. Look, look deeper, the tiny little, it's like the size of a dildo. Oh. The size of a dildo? <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, those are amazing. They're like horse beans. Crispy and garlicky? I don't know, they're really yummy. If you plant them, they grow horses. You gotta plant four though, one for each hoof. <laughs> There's my mom recuperating on the ground. I think we've killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark. This guy's worried about job security. Would you like a lawnmower instead? Or uh... <laughs> Mom was taking a nap and then <laughs> it turns out she's just in the middle of a circle of people. <laughs> she's in selfie zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a modest little flag. <laughs> Do they have something against full-size items? <laughs> to a beach, thank God. Yeah, we were looking for Dream Beach and missed it. This isn't Dream Beach, but it's cute. There's lots of little cats. Mile there Beach. Is? Yeah, you see over there? Oh yeah, they are, they're playing. Yeah. It really puts the cat in catamaran. My only regret is I didn't bring thermal underwear. Oh God. It is Parka. Really with that wind. It's frigid. <laughs> Chili is an understatement. No. 
everyone at home in Canada is saying, there's the market we all know, drinking on the beach. Is that Whale Cave? Comment down below if you know if that is Whale Cave. Further questioning includes, is it supposed to look like a whale or are there whales in the cave? It's impossible to know. Yeah, I'm trying to research Yeah, we're it. pondering that. Even online, I'm like, that doesn't look like a whale. It looks like mm. a cool rock, but... Yeah. Well, maybe there's whales inside it. Maybe. That beautiful, ornate temple right there, that would have been the temple where you can go underground and see all the sea turtles or whatever. Uh, but it's closed for construction. Uh, but that's okay. Whatever. Things that are ostentatious, number 12 in a series. We have the Dai Temple. A wonderfully dizzying array of shiny colors placed as if by a million tiny fingers. Your eyes get lost in your head with so much to look at. It would take years to fully appreciate all the time and effort that's been put into this place. And this is only the top floor. The basement is closed for construction. Alex, how you feeling? I got a poncho from the ladies at the temple. Because nothing keeps you warmer than thin plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's see-through. <laughs> yeah. This will come in handy another day. That color suits you. Well, we made it home. Erin mm -hmm. earned her scooter badge in a major way today. I did. I actually did really well today. I think I'm just so tired just getting back now. I almost ran my scooter through that door. I, I didn't break. I went and almost flew right into the building. Yeah. But otherwise, I did really well today, I'd say. Yeah, so almost driving into the wall notwithstanding. She did pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, about seven and a half, no, seven hours, right? Scooter, Seven right? hours? Yeah. About that, yeah. 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 Super windy. So like the way oh. back was a little like. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy yeah. windy. Oh, my arse is done. I know. Oh. Mom did pretty good getting on and off the scooter. Yeah. Not bad for an old gal, hey? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now it's wine. I mean, dinner time. Yeah. Oh yeah, big bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, big bottle of dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just did donkey crossfit. Donkey crossfit? Yeah. What is that? It's where you do crossfit and then you get kicked in the ass by a donkey. Oh yeah, oh. I got double kicked. <laughs> <laughs> After a hard day's travel, we sat down to a nice, classy meal. I mistakenly handed the camera over to the talking wine bottles across from me, but eventually the food came out and we all sat in a rapturous glee, making quick work of our meals and wine glasses as a sort of overture to our sore asses. Buddy's gonna come by and give us tickets to go to the double heart, heart. island. Island. We don't know what it's called. The actual like title's yeah. name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably being subtitled right now. Anyway, so <laughs> it's whatever that says. You'll see it tomorrow. Also on Instagram because you probably follow us. Yeah. If you don't, you're dumb. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously. Yeah. Go on. Get on there. Well, you guys look comfortable. Yeah. Ooh, this is good. At least your outfit looks like it's together. Good morning. We're at it again. Back on the scooters. <sighs> Scootering to the ferry. Oh, it's another freezing day. She's I brought clothes for like hot island weather, so I brought a dress that I'm now wearing multiple layers with. 
<laughs> it's a little chilly. Yeah, it's super chilly. Especially scootering, because you just get that breeze. Yeah. I don't really know. Can I get seasick? I might have to go outside. Well, we found our way onto another boat. I think it was waiting for us. I think we were the last passengers. Yeah, Everyone's looking at us like, thanks. Here's the name of the island. There's two islands. There's the other one. So if you can read Chinese, then you know where we're going. Yeah. But I don't. So. It's not cheap, so I hope it's worth it. I've heard from many people that it's worth it, but like the cost of our tickets on the ferries and scooter rentals on two different islands, we paid like forty dollars Canadian each. Not cheap. Yeah. So fingers crossed we that we like for it. the day. We get yeah. Time. Yeah. That's true. I'm excited though. This boat is no slouch. We're freaking hauling ass right now. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> The boat did haul ass. I was pleased because bobbing around like a lazy river in a boat full of tourists isn't my thing. I want a speedboat and it didn't disappoint. We made frequent stops to look at things that were totally lost on us, but everyone else seemed to flock to the edge to take pictures. We also don't understand enough Chinese yet to keep up with the frantic pace on the loudspeaker, but that's okay. We got our scooters from this place over here, uh, and they were nice enough to rent us the scooters without our international license because we forgot them at the villa which is unlike us. But Erin had an ARC car, so she just said, okay, gave us the scooters anyway. But right now, the girls are just going to 7-Eleven, get some water, probably some sunscreen. But as you saw on the last road trip, we scorched and burned, and we're still paying for it now. And I almost never burn. There they are. I got like sunscreen gel. Oh. With a teddy bear on it. Oh god. Cartoon character. Mild gel. <laughs> UV shield. Oh, it's got a kitty kitty on it. Oh, it's a cat? We made it to the island. I don't know if you can hear us. It's so windy. <laughs> not like yesterday though. No, not as bad as yesterday. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. We're hanging out with some goats. Yeah, just mountain goats running around, like going Wah! just kind of yelling at us. Clinging to the side of the mountain. Yeah. Also, you would think an island that services tourists would have bigger helmets. Like, I don't even have that big of a head. I feel like I'm wearing a fucking suction cup. <laughs> you have a big head. No, I don't. <laughs> just Do I? <laughs> Well, it has to accommodate all the brains that I have. Oh, yeah. Not hearts. Oh. We're going to go further. Probably. Yeah, let's go down here. There's Aaron saving some spots. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get down there. Yeah, we want to like be right in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> Not just take selfies from above. Yeah. So, but we might have to scale the mountain to do it, so. I don't know, other people are doing it. I honestly think we have to drive further to get down. There's nothing I hate more than rushed tourism where everyone's like clamoring over each other and stepping on each other's babies to get selfies. Yeah. I just hate it. My mom's right there. She's not with us for this journey because of all the steps. I've learned to get people out of the way. You say, do you want a picture together so that it's quicker? And then you get to take over the spot. Yeah, that's true. So those are the steps that we just came down. Well, no, that's the clip. The steps are over here, but they lead all the way up there. Um, but there's no one here now. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, we can have a little boat party. Yeah. Stand in boat. 
And there's the hearts, as you can see. Oh, cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. I think I got my fill, though. Yeah, we should probably go back up. We have to climb these steps and scooter back in time. Yeah. Unfortunately. We have like 20 minutes to get back to the boat, and we're on the opposite side of the island. Not yeah. a very big island, but still. Number two, rented some more scooters and we're just loading it up with chips and snacks and then we're gonna go to a beach and just chill. Oh, well, it was just a quick little scooter ride. We just want to sit on a beach and eat and chill. It was awesome. So it wasn't like it wasn't even long enough of a ride to vlog so. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can put up with this for a little while. Back there. What is that? Do you want me to throw it? You ready? Another one's coming! Oh. What are you digging for? <laughs> it's getting pretty deep in there. It is. Hey. How did you know that was in there? Well, everyone on this boat hates us now. Yeah, we were late. And I like wiped out on my scooter. So that made us even more late. <laughs> but we're here. We yeah, made we made it. it, we made it. Well, we're not the last one. Okay, aren't, aren't we? No, we're, we gotta re-dock oh. again to get them. Okay, okay, now I don't feel So, bad. I feel much better about that. Thank you, person, for screwing up. the biggest one <laughs> you can't miss it but we're here we're just uh, we thought we'd maybe catch a sunset but I think we're on the wrong side for sunset <laughs> yeah but it's gorgeous it's called Iman Beach but we're getting hungry anyway so we're gonna go back to the city get some food go to our villa catch the sunset pack everything go to the airport and go home delicious meal. Yes, very full of beef noodle. And now we've driven back to where we're staying in the villa and we had no idea because we're always here at night that we can just come right there and there's like a sunset place. Yeah, we can watch sunset here right by the beach. Why yeah. not? Yeah. So cue time lapse. We chilled out and watched the clouds turn dark before heading to the villa to pack our bags. Peng Hu was amazing. I only wish we had more time to explore all the different foods it has to offer. For a weekend getaway and for an experience that was new to Aaron, my mom and myself, it was perfect.
My mom flew back to Canada shortly after, but ever since visiting Taiwan, she's been wanting to come back. I think it just kind of happens to everyone that comes here. See you next time, folks. Thank you.